Hello, friends. Thank you for tuning in. If we haven't met yet, my name is Angela Olmos. I'm a full-time real estate agent in the Northeast Florida area, and I'm with Momentum Realty. What I am going to be diving into in this video is a new form of a market update that I've been wanting to try out, and I hope you guys enjoy it. It's actually a video format, um, just going over some of the key indicators of our market shifts, what's been happening here in Northeast Florida. And today, I want to focus strictly on St. John's County. I do have a lot of different people that I've sold homes to in St. John's, so I want to go ahead and give you guys the rundown of what's been happening there within the last month. So we're going to be focusing on information about July and we're going to be looking at St. John's County strictly and we're going to be looking at single family homes, condos and townhomes. Home, okay, and I want to include everyone that um, have purchased from me because I have sold single family townhome and condos in St. John's County. And this is actually good news for you if you purchased a home within the last few years. The appreciation has been incredible. So let's dive into it and start with the biggest number. $530,000 is actually the medium sales price in St. John's County, guys. It's more than half a million dollars. And that is actually 18.2% higher than it was at this time last year. <laughs> How about that? Now, that is unusually high. That's not the typical appreciation that you would come to expect. Um, but it's something that you may want to take advantage of if you are in a situation where you might be considering moving. Uh, we can chat more about that. I'm going to go over the re this information and then I'm going to tell you what it means for you as a seller and as a buyer. So let's have a look. Now, units sold. These are the total amount of closings that we had in July in St. John's County. Uh, there were 581 units sold. It sounds like a big number, nearly 600 closings in one month, but it's actually down by 22.4% from this time last year. That's another market indicator of the shift that we've been seeing. There's the number of closings have actually decreased. Um, now let's take a look at what's been happening with our inventory. Now inventory is up. So now we have more homes on the market. Hmm, you guys are gonna benefit this if you are a buyer. And I'll tell you what that means for you too. So stick around until the end of the video. Uh, you've got a 57.1% higher um, inventory that you had at this time last year. So the total number of homes that were available in July in St. John's County across all different price points were 1,549. That's more to choose from that you may have had as a buyer in previous months. So take a look at that. Now, medium days on the market, we're still seeing that it's less than a month. So if you are a seller and you have been thinking about selling, your home is still very likely to sell very quickly, especially if it's priced right. Um, another thing that you wanna look at is the medium sales price by square foot. By square foot, we're actually at $252 per square foot, which is 23.3% higher than it was at this time last year. And the new listings that entered the market were 773 in July, which is actually down by 14%. So really good stuff. You might be wondering, where did you come up with these numbers? Just in case you want to know, it is provided, the data is provided by the Real MLS and Domos Analytics, which has become my favorite tool to use. I, I just absolutely love this stuff and I hope that you find value by me sharing this. So if there's anyone that you can think of who could benefit from this, please do share. Sharing is caring. All right, now, so if you're a seller, let me just tell you, there's three things that you can do with your equity. Um, I'm sure you know you can use that equity to use as a form of a down payment when you're purchasing your next home. Um, I would love to talk to you guys more about that if that's something that you're interested in, in knowing how much equity you actually have in your home and how much of that you want to bring along with you for your next purchase. You can chat about that. Another thing that you could do with that equity appreciation is even take on an equity line of credit, which um, I would be happy to refer you to um, any of the great lenders that I work with to help you get that if that's something that you need. And then also possibly even take down the mortgage insurance that you may have had when your loan was originally funded. If you had less than 20% equity, very likely, you may have had to have mortgage insurance. But if you, if due to this increase, now you have more than 20% equity, you may want to talk to your lender about removing that mortgage insurance, which is going to help you save on the monthly payment. So that those are some of the things that you can benefit from as a seller. Again, you can use it for a down payment on your next home. And I would love to help you with that. 
Now, the um, the other thing that I wanted to mention is for buyers, okay? Big opportunity for buyers. If you are a buyer and you have been wanting to buy a home in St. Johns County during the past 12, 24 months, I'm sure you've seen some competition. You may have even come across multiple offers. There was a point where nearly every home that was for sale had multiple offers and the environment was pretty aggressive on those multiple offers. There were people buying these in cash with no contingencies, no inspections, closing in two weeks. Well, that's very competitive for maybe even a first time or a second time home buyer coming into that environment. So now you can go ahead and retest the market. You're going to be able to see that you have more to choose from. The, the environment you're going to find is still going to be competitive, but it's not going to be that frenzy that it was just a few months ago. So if I can help you either through the process of buying or selling your next home, I'm here for you. I hope that you can think of me as your trusted advisor and your guide to help you achieve your real estate dreams. All right, my friends, that's what I've got for you now. And until next time, please remember to be kind to one another and I will see you on the next video. Take care.